What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views. Um, I want to be very clear before we start the podcast. Jason and I are just coworkers. We are no longer an item. <laughs> At one point, okay. there may have been some feelings. That's fine. Us. That's fine. Just do the podcast. Just do the podcast. <laughs> just do it. We'll have a business relationship, and that's fine, David. Whatever you want, because apparently I thought we had something more, but we don't. You, ha- you finished? Are you finished? Are you finished ruining lives? I, I've been done with this for a while, Jay. Oh, okay, fine. Well, who's who's Terrence? Who's Terrence? He's the Aunt- fucking, he's a landscaper. Oh, okay. So I guess Terrence just comes over and landscapes at 1130 at night. Is that what you're trying to say? No, he was making sure the sprinkler system was on for the morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. I don't think there's a sprinkler system on your couch underneath a blanket watching the notebook. Well, I'll have you know there was definitely a sprinkler system under that blanket because Terrence can do things to my body that you could <laughs> never even imagine. <laughs> so at least something's getting wet around here. Yes. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views, the podcast where once in a while – Jason and I get along, may not be today, may not be tomorrow, but there is some light at the end of the tunnel. And I want to add to that and say that David is playing a mind game right now, which technically is not being nice. He's holding it over my head to see if he's going to be nice to me on this podcast. And I guess we'll have to see, but that is the roller coaster that I live with every day. We went to we went to like a Halloween party a couple of days ago that's like it's like a big, it's like known as like a big Halloween party. Sure. Um, it's actually like, it's my favorite party of the year. Um, yeah. It's at a huge, it's one of the biggest houses in LA. Um, and How big are we talking? Like how big is the house? Yeah. It's probably like a 30, $40 million home. Ooh. It's like, it's huge. It's huge. Um, and it has like a beautiful view. And we walk in and, and basically there's like characters all up along like the front door that are like, welcome to the house. Come play with us. You know, like that sure. are like scary whatever scary people and then you get in and there's a guy there that says you have to collect all you have to collect all the tokens um you have to collect these like coins uh-huh. and the person who has the most coins by the end of the night wins a prize oh nice and it's this is like an optional game right it's just a party but you can all but then there are characters all around the party that are dressed up as like demons or like monsters and you can go talk to them uh. and they'll help you find these coins <laughs> right and you know 99 percent of the people aren't looking for coins they're just there to have fun get drunk dance whatever yeah. um but jonah <laughs> jonah was all over the fucking coins so the second we got there he's like he's looking for them and i, I looked for one of the coins myself and i went up I went up to one of the women that was dressed as like a, like a, I don't know, some kind of a bird, like maybe a raven or something. Yeah. And I was like, can I have a coin? And she goes, do you trust me? And I go, yes. <laughs> and she blindfolds me and she blindfolds me and she takes me to like the middle of the dance floor and she dances with me for like two minutes while I'm blindfolded. Wow. Yeah. She's like making me like spin her around. She's spinning me around and stuff. Wow. And then she like whispers in my ear. She's like, thank you for trusting me. Oh. And then she takes she she brings me to like the corner of, of the house and she makes me get on my knees and bend down and I have to bow down to this like monster sitting in this big throne. No way. And I bow down to him and then then the monster guy pulls out a coin and gives it to me. Wow. And that was one of the coins. That's so cool. And that was like one of the tasks. And it was really cool because it was like it was in the middle of the party. Like if you were at the party you would never know that there was another game. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't right. like it wasn't like a cheesy party where you're like you have to do the games. Like right. no one was doing them yeah, yeah. unless you really wanted to and you really wanted to look for it. Right. Um, which is that, that that was my favorite part is the game was disguised in the party. Yeah. And then yeah, so that was the only thing I did um, because I was like I know I won't be able to get the most amount of coins and I, I don't know I, I would rather just hang out with friends. But Jonah Jonah was trying to get all the coins. By the end of the night, he had nine coins. Wow. Yeah. So he did it, he did it nine times and. And uh, he was trying to get more coins, and he went up to one of the guys dressed in the mask, and he's like, I, "Sir, I am here for another coin." He was talking like this, like he was out of a, out of a movie. And the guy, the guy that was in the mask, um, took him to the corner and pulled his mask off, and he goes, "Yo, buddy, you have the most amount of coins. Can you please stop playing? Seriously, you've you've already won. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that fucking crazy?" So Jonah walked away with like, um, it was like a, it was like a rock that he won, like you know, like one of those like. Like a spiritual rock, sure, I don't sure. Know, but that's what he won. Yeah. 
he was bummed out. He's like, I want a fucking rock. <laughs> he literally spent three and a half hours doing it, like just walking around the house looking for these people. It's a cool rock, but uh, but yeah, it was really funny. Oh, that's awesome. Um, Who's the supermodel that's over there? That's my assistant, the Natalie. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Natalie, I didn't know that was you. She's hard. She's hard. To, she's she's hard, hard what? She's hard what? Hardly what you... a supermodel. That's not what you're going to say. I, you were going to say it's hard to be around someone so attractive. That's I was going to say she's say. hard to miss. Hard to miss. Oh, okay. Yeah. Natalie is in a Japanese robe with wet hair. She's now sitting down to do the podcast with us or to yell at David. I'm not sure. What do you have? Something to say? One or the other. Oh yeah, I guess we can. I mean, we can talk a lot. We can talk a lot about it. We went to go. We went to go visit a porn star the other day. Her name is Emily Willis. She invited us on set. It was a girl on girl scene. Very nice girl. Very nice girl. Very business. Nat, what do you think of it? Nat has like a really interesting perspective on it. Okay. Oh, I do. Um, what did I think about it? I could talk a little louder. Says the guy who literally just whispers You're through literally whispering two years into the of mic. podcasts. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> we're literally under a blanket and eight pillows we're right thinking now. of hiring someone to double your voice <laughs> we do and i we, we went out looking for sound alikes last week we bought okay, auditioning people what, what, what'd you think of going to visit emily um natalie was like the most uncomfortable i think she, she was she, she not looked, uncomfortable but she was just like she always looks like that the person who wasn't the most into it <laughs> like carly and aaron really wanted to see it but natalie was like eh, i don't know if i want to go see this yeah yeah she wasn't really watching yeah um, what do I say? Um, how did I feel about it? I don't know. I just you yesterday. You're saying the best perfectly. You're saying it give you a different perspective on that. Okay. Um. Well, it's interesting because I went out and I I was trying to like talk to my friends and like explain like what I had done during the day. Right. And explain it to somebody that you just watched two girls have sex is like yes, not. Yes. Yes. I had the same experience. <laughs> go 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 go. It's not like it's not even easy to like. I don't. I no. don't know how to explain it to make it sound okay. As soon as it came out of my mouth, everyone was like, "What? Yeah, you fucking weirdo." Wait, yeah. what do you mean? Like, I went out that night too with my friends after was, the porn star. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, oh, I went to a porn today, and these two girls had sex, and they were like, "What? The what?" Fuck? It's just not something that you can just say to people. Oh, interesting. But in the moment, like as we were like, she came into the car, was totally cool. Like she's a very normal human, a normal girl. Um, She's, which you would think that like a porn star would just be like, you know, walking around naked and just talking about sex and saying the most like, just everything things. sounds sexual that comes out of their mouth or whatever. Because they're naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, but then like, she was completely normal and she brought us into the shoot and like made us feel totally comfortable. Like it was because it is her norm. So it's not weird for her to be surrounded by people just watching her naked. Right. Um, and so throughout the whole thing, I was just like, oh, yeah, this is, like, totally normal. And she was, like, doing her thing, getting, like, fucked by this other woman. And I left, like, feeling like, oh, okay, that's, like, that's – I had more of a respect for her profession because it was, like, when you watch what she's doing, it's – a uh, you can, like, tell it's, like – it's, like, a job. It's not mm – -hmm. the way that, that porn stars have sex is so much different than, like, actual sex. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. They're, like, just, having sex, but they're also – Definitely playing it up a little bit too. Right. Making it theatrical. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a performance. It's a literally performance. a performance. Mm -hmm. Like when people have sex with David, you know, they, they, they have, have to, to play it up a little pretend bit. Pretend like they're enjoying it. Right. Exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, but you were saying that it, that it looked more like an art, like watching the two girls have sex. And then I, and then I added, you're also watching two girls have sex, right? right. Like if you're watching a guy and a girl, right. it's going to be a lot less beautiful and more like, oh, whoa, this is pretty fucking intense. Mm -hmm. uh, I see what you're saying. Like we were watching two girls hook up and it was like, oh, this is like so pretty. Because I feel like girls like are like, like beautiful. Like the, the like their bodies. Uh, yeah. Like a girl's body is like, it's, it is like art. But then when you put a guy in there, it's like, fucking Christ. Look at yeah. that dick. Oh, <laughs> I'm like a man. It's, yeah. It's like, hairy ass. It's just like gross. <laughs> so like, I feel like we fold, had, we had like, we had like the cleanest, um, like we had like the cleanest example of what like porn I, would be like. I compared it to like professional wrestling. You know, it's the same exact thing. It's like you come in, you do these moves, this and somebody, you know, and then there's an ending. You know, <laughs> and then that's basically what they did. They had a bunch of moves that they do. You know, she went down on her. She, you know, then she came came around and sat on her face or whatever she did. <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah. And I, I didn't get turned on at all. Oh, me neither. I mean, it was like completely not anything. No. No, no, no. It was, it was, it was just like people acting. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. No, but it was, it was really cool, and they were all so, so nice. 
They were super nice. And they were, yeah, and it was a beautiful house and it was just like it was great. Yeah. And we talked about in the video we talked about uh Emily has a scene where um where she gets stuck in a washer. Mhm. And the worst. She, it's it's Hating called stuck happens. porn and it's where it's where where she gets stuck in the washer and someone comes behind her and has sex with her. Yeah, I was like, stuck I was stuck in the washer this morning. I was just doing my laundry and luckily no one came on and came along and fucked me. me. <laughs> um, and then the next morning after the video went up, the trending searches on Pornhub. This is all in a row, by the way. It's Emily Willis stuck, Emily Willis washer, Emily Willis stuck washer, Emily Willis washing machine, stuck washer, stuck washing machine, <laughs> Emily Willis. Isn't that fucking crazy? Those were the tre- yeah. all the trending searches on Pornhub were about Emily Willis Such a and her influencer. being stuck. Yeah, and then the, the top comment was, um, if you're here from David's vlog, her being stuck in the washer starts at 4.15. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was really, really funny. Crazy. 